Hi, everybody. It's Dara. And I am heating myself up a chai that I made. It's a recipe that's going in the holiday recipe book um, that I have been wanting to make. I would say since 2008 or nine, Thanksgiving has been um, my mom and I, it was our holiday. And so um, Lisa, who's now helping me with things said, why don't we finally do it? And I was like, great, thinking all the recipes are there and I won't have to do that much work. Well, of course, recipes from 2000 and I don't know, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and now it's 2020, and I have to make them current for how I would like them now. I was 100% raw then for 10 years, and now I think it's okay to steam sweet potatoes. Um, I think that it's okay to do a couple things a little more um, easygoing. So it's a mostly raw holiday book. So what it feels like is that it's emotional because my mom's no longer here. And um, at this point, Herbie moved to Florida. So normally I make the food and just walk it over to him. And I'm like, well, he's not here. He moved to Florida because of COVID. And then my mom's not here. My daughter, thank goodness, is enjoying the sweet potato and the kale chips. But it's a little bit strange. But I feel like what it is, is the, the theme is that I'm reaching back into the past. I'm living memories of the past. I'm looking at recipes from the past. I'm doing the work, looking at it, making the recipes super current. And then it's for the future. So it's it's literally like reaching into the past, being willing to look at what you've done, honoring it, bringing it now. And then it's really making a current. And then all of a sudden it occurred to me, this is a legacy that I'm leaving for my daughter because if I didn't do this work, she and you guys would really not be able to experience um, these recipes because yes, yeah, some of them were kind of roughly done in YouTube. Some of them were roughly scratched down in my Evernote recipe file, but you would, no one would have been able to got them. No one would have done the work. So, Hey Cass, so I'm doing the work now so that we have it for the future. So it's reaching into the past, making a current and building something, leaving a legacy, leaving, um, you know, it's an act of labor of love and it is work. Um, but the really cool thing is that it's bringing a sense of um it's bringing a sense of like home and nurturing and hearth. And I think that's something that we really need right now. I think that um, one of the ways to really um, make yourself feel okay in this time is to do things like making food, making tradition, making um, things that smell good and feel good and taste good. And that is exactly what it is. So Katie, thank you for ordering. So you guys, I'm giving you the heads up that it's like on sale for like $9.99 and it'll go up to like $16.99. So it's a heads up pre-sale and you guys are having faith because I didn't even list the recipes that I'm putting in, but you can trust me, they're delicious. There's the nut, uh, no turkey nut meatloaf. There's my cauliflower popcorn. There's my cheesy kale chips. There's Herbie's favorite cranberry dish, my mom's uh, stuffing. There is um, greens and a salad and a chai and a raw pumpkin pie. And I think I'm even putting in, of course, I developed a new recipe. I was excited. Um, Hi, Hazel T. You are an OG, Hazel T. I hope you're feeling okay. So I made a raw vegan caramel. I think it was last night. I'm losing track of time because the kitchen is filled with like uh, recipe. Oh, and also my mom's, um, it's vegan bacon rumaki. It was like a appetizer recipe from um, the 70s where they would take bacon, wrap a water chestnut or a pineapple, or I think traditionally chicken with well, some kind of liver. My mom didn't do that, but she did do the bacon and it's wrapped around water chestnut and pineapple with a toothpick in it. And she baked it. And I was like, I'll do a vegan uh, bacon rumaki. So that recipe is going in. So I am going to be um, testing that one. Weirdly enough, air one was out of eggplant. I got the last two eggplant. And um, so there's, it reminds me of my mom because there's like, 
you know, when you're having Thanksgiving, you leave like dishes out because the ones are, you're going to use or the, the, the Nama shoya, Shoyu is out and the Worcestershire and all my chai. I'm about to pour myself a chai. Um, my spices are out. It just feels like work in action when sometimes my kitchen, I just like everything away. Now I'm like, all right, it's okay if it's out. So thank you, Katie. Yeah, they will be good. I promise you that. So let me just pour some chai and... Ew, it got thick. We gotta thin it out. Hold on. <laughs> so what does anybody want to talk about? Because I feel like Sundays could be like, you know, philosophy day. They could be astrogeography, the North Nodes. For those of you who do not know what your North Node is and its house placement, I strongly encourage you to go to my website, daradubinay.com, and look up your North Node and look up your house placement because it literally describes what you can do to make yourself self feel better during these times, what you can do to activate joy at any time, what you can do and what your soul wants you to do. It's kind of like a life purpose, life direction thing. So I want you guys to know your North Nodes and then we can talk about them. Hello, good day, good day. Um, and oh, what else was I gonna say? How are you all doing? How are you? Like, how are you really? Like, you see me, um, I'm happy most of the time. I'm happy because I'm painting and I'm drawing doobies. Um, I'm creating. And that's when I'm able to make, when I'm creating beauty, that's how I'm able to shift. I have a Taurus North node. I'm not able to do my ninth house placement um, traveling um, at the moment. I could hop, I could hop in a rent a vehicle. Um, I was thinking of getting some kind of camper van. Um, I normally live a very local life until I hop on an airplane and go. So my life consists of walking places, bike riding, walking, biking, walking, biking. And now I'm like, hmm, in order for my ninth house placement to satisfy that Sagittarius, you got to leave home, um, you got to be 30 miles away or more. I think I need to go on a road trip. But right now I am um, knowing I need to finish this ebook before I go anywhere. So I should be out by October 15th and then I'll be able to take a road trip. Um, I think that's necessary to change perspective. Um, yeah, I feel kind of tired. I feel kind of like um, nostalgic because I'm doing these recipe books. I feel like I miss my mother. I feel like um, a little bit like, wow, I got to generate joy. You know what I mean? I have to generate my own joy, which really I'm quite good at. Um, but if it's even t hard, if I'm noticing some resistance, if I am, I imagine other people are having a very hard time because I really um, have discovered that I am quite genius at making myself happy. I know how to do it. <laughs> it's just part of what, it's part of my thing. Um, and if I'm having some difficulty at times, I can only imagine the collective, you know, it's not hard to go for a walk and see small businesses that have shut down or little children wearing masks or people at the beach or running or in their cars. And it's, I feel for the small business, I feel the collective, but I also feel my own, like life has changed. And so, um, what I do is I do my North Node activity. And for me, that's Taurus because um, my North Node is in Taurus. So anytime I get involved in any kind of psychodrama or deep, dark stuff, that's Scorpio, my South Node, where I've come from. That's my comfort zone. When I make a tonic, when I make beautiful food, when I fluff up my bed and make the sheets all clean and nice, when I create art, that's very Venusian. So my studio is tricked out. I'm painting, I'm spray painting huge and tiny and watercoloring. And that's how I stay in my zone. So it's really, um, it is heavy energies right now. I definitely feel it. And I'm like, whoa, I can only imagine that everybody might be having a hard time. But I do want to say some things that can cheer you up. Um, we made a store on Society6 with some of my doobies. There's a phone case, and if anybody has an iPhone XS, I ordered the wrong one, I will do. I will send it to you. <laughs> the first one who comments. 
Um, I ordered a new one for my phone. This one doesn't fit my phone. And then I ordered this little print to see how it came out and it's super cute. I'm gonna keep it in my little dressing area. Uh, thank you for the thumbs up. Um, there you go, Miss Vine. So email hello at Dara Duvenet with dot com with your address and you will have a doobie phone case. So you can see these on my website. They're so cheery. They're so adorable. You could just get a screensaver for $3 or you could get um, a phone case and that's the doobie. So the, the Thanksgiving or the holiday book is the doobies do Thanksgiving because I'm combining my love for drawing with my love for food and these little characters and um, yeah, congratulations. That makes me happy. So it's like, oh, I made a mistake. So I'm combining it. So it's the doobies do the do, do, doobies do the holidays. And we're also going to be having some recorded videos. Once I'm done with this ebook, I'm gonna make my old style shorter recorded, not shorter necessarily, but recorded videos. And um, let's get that chai. I need it. I also didn't have coffee today. I have it every couple days and I don't know. I notice when I have it, I think it's affecting sleep. Even if you have coffee in the morning, it could affect your sleep at night. It's kind of crazy. The, oh, old school scratch and sniff sneakers. I love those. That's so cute. They do look like stickers. So I just want to paint. I want to connect with you guys. This was just a really, um, I had nothing in particular that I needed to say or do other than say, it's okay to not feel your best. Cry, uh, feel it, write it down. The only thing I ask of you is to really not to numb, is to let yourself feel sad or mad or bad because um, stuffing it doesn't do any good for your body. Your body holds it somewhere and then it just becomes like toxins in your body. So if you feel sad, just surrender to it, just surrender to it. Um, and it will lift, it will pass. Okay. Ow. Okay. So <laughs> you have to hold it at the top. Traditionally, um, it's a chai in India. Tea is chai. And this is a masala chai with ground cloves and ginger. I made two versions. Um, in my tonic seed book, there's a chai where you take all the spices and you model them and then you put them with milk, uh, plant milk um, and water and you brew the spices and then the smell of the spices is going through the house. That's what's going on here right now. And so there's clove and there's star anise and there's cardamom. I'm drawing all these little characters and writing the benefits of those spices. Um, and cinnamon and then and fresh ginger and I said clove and cardamom. Yes. And then um, you add some black tea and it's uplifting and warming and spicy and so delicious. So I've been doing that. So I did one version with the whole spices and seeds and the modeling. And then I have another version where I just am using ground. I wanted to try it with just powder, even though I believe that using whole spices, like the whole star anise and the whole clove and the whole cinnamon is kind of better because it's, a, it's, it's an immediate, when you model them and get the essential oils activated, then they're freshest and it's less expensive. You can buy them in bulk and it's kind of witchy and brewy and I love the experience, but not everybody has the time or the inclination or a, um, a, a modeler. <laughs> what is the word? More pestle and mortar. Um, so then I tried a version with the powders and it was good. So that's what I'm having right now. So I think I'm going to put both in there. And um, I do want to talk about the vegan caramel. There's a myriad of ways. Like if you're not doing it raw, you could use like coconut cream and brown sugar and um, you know, there's a ways to do it. But I wanted to do a raw one, which basically is medjool dates. Um, and I used, I have my, let's see if I can remember. I have my, um, notes. Do you want me to get them? Do you guys want to make the vegan? I'm going to make an apple dish for the recipe book and I'm going to make an apple dish, like an apple pie, um, or an apple crumble with a salty caramel sauce over it. It was my daughter's idea. She's like, why don't you do... Um, a caramel apple and I was like and she goes you could 
call it care a now because um, I'm not going to make it unhealthy. So um, I decided that I'm not going to stick caramel on an apple, although I could. I could stick a stick <laughs> in this apple and then coat it with this caramel. But I've never been a big fan of biting into an apple that has caramel on it because it just doesn't seem... I'd rather have the al apple chopped up. So you could chop up the apple, you could just chop it as is, you could peel it and chop it, you could peel, chop, and bake it, or you could peel, chop, and steam it, like I do, in a saucepan. And then you could have, um, maybe I could make like an oatmeal pecan crumble, and then the salty caramel. So I'm working out how I'm going to do it. So you want to know the recipe. Okay, let me get it. And this is what I do at 11 o'clock at night. I get weirdly creative because I was born at 10 p.m. This is my theory, is that whatever time you were born in might be your most creative. <laughs> You're birthing. I can birth at 10. So I start making recipes at 11 o'clock at night. It's really amazing. It's when I used to make my best chocolate. Yeah, I didn't eat coffee because I had this black tea, this black chai. So let's see, I have a lot of different raw vegan caramel. This is the one. So if when I'm making it at home and I'm testing a recipe, I do smaller. Um, how many of you, I want to know, are you guys like doing food for yourselves? I want to know if like right now I'm by myself and at times I would want to make for four to six people, but really I don't need the recipes do you want two to four or four to six? Myself. I want to know how many people are by themselves. Because I'm still making gorgeous food for myself. And that's not normally my norm. My norm is usually to make food for other people. Um, and left to my own devices, I'm going to make fuel. <laughs> I think I'm going to make my green soups, my green smoothies, my salads quick. But it's still beautiful. Okay, two and by yourself. I'm feeling like... The recipes um, that, hi, John G. I feel like two to four is good because it's still, you can eat by yourself and save some for the next day. Um, so, okay, so I'll do two to four like normal. So, but for vegan caramel, it's hard to know, like, is this for two? I mean, that's a lot to eat. Is that two to four? You're just gonna drizzle some on? Do you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> anyway, so I figure I'll figure two apples per, per person because when you cook them, they res, um, they reduce down. And then um, this looks like a generous two, maybe three. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna tell you what's in it. You ready? Get your pens because this is good. Hi, Gary, darling. And Roller Girl Darling, Crystal, and Shelly, and Katie, and Nisha, Samantha. Yeah, you could eat it the next day. So I'm going to double this. So do you guys want me to tell you? I'll tell you the smaller portion now in case you just want to try it. Um, three dates. Amazingly, my it's medjool dates. My medjool dates were very, very soft. It was really exciting. And if you have um, drier dates, then maybe you want to soak them in a little bit of water because you could use the date and a little bit of the soak water, not lots of water. Um, and then you can, um, if you have a high performance blender, dry dates won't really matter, but I would still want to moisten them. So I would say moisten your dates. Sometimes you could just soak them for like an hour in a teeny little do uh, dish. It's like, holy Oh my gosh. So, okay, so three dates, and you can double this. Um, three tablespoons of coconut oil, but get this. I used um, this Nutiva makes a butter flavor. And I gotta tell you, it worked. Like, it just worked for this. So three tablespoons of the Nutiva butter. Anybody who wants to write this down, that would be so great and put it in the comments. Um, one quarter cup pine nuts, or I can do it. One quarter cup pine nuts. Now, um, if pine nuts are expensive, but maybe you can get pine nuts from some organic farm, 
or you can um, use cashew butter. I think like a quarter cup of cashew butter would work or even an almond butter, but finely, finely ground. Um, and then three tablespoons of maple syrup and a half a teaspoon of salt, which is a lot of salt. It made it salty, but I liked it salty sweet. Let's taste it the next day. I haven't had it. It's outrageous. I don't even know what to say. I could just cut up an apple and put some on it. Um, I'd be happy to serve this to anyone at any time. Buttered flavored coconut oil by this brand, Nutiva. It's worth ordering, okay? If you don't have this, um, I would say the next best buttery flavory thing that is vegan, which is amazing and I'm using it, I used it in my sweet potato dish, is this Miyoko's Cultured Vegan Butter. This tastes like butter and this is the healthier, I would say this is the better version of the Nutiva co coconut oil. This may be for cost factor, this one for like, oh my gosh, amazingness. I told my daughter about this and if anybody's using things like Earth Balance or I don't know Earth Balance, but anything that doesn't have good oils in it, watch the oils in the things. So this one is made with organic coconut oil, cashew milk, um, a little bit of sunflower oil. This one's a bit is a really cool choice, not raw. Um, I did. That's a very good question about the salt. It's one half of a teaspoon, and then when I doubled the recipe, I see I didn't double the salt, which I need to do right now. I'm not very linear, so it's like a miracle <laughs> when I get these recipe books done. They're a lot of work for me because it's just not how I operate. Um, I don't always have my teaspoons and tablespoons and everything out. Um, oh, they make a maple butter. That would be amazing. Maple butter would be amazing because we're using maple syrup. Oh, I don't even know what to say. So let's discuss the apple. Uh, let's discuss it. I love apple peels, but traditionally for apple pie, you peel it. So let's just do that. Why not? I'm just gonna like, I don't know, I feel like I'm gonna gain like 10 pounds while I'm recipe testing. That's so the way it is though. Like you just take one for the team, <laughs> take 10. I'm trying to walk 10,000 steps a day because um, I just am. Bike, walk, bike, yeah. I'm feeling a little like heavy today and a little bit like tired and like I showed up anyway, I'm like, well, something something good will happen <laughs> if I show up. I was like, I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. And I chose 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I think my, I normally kick into, like, real video-making gear after 4 or 5. But if I do that, so many of you are sleeping or maybe we will be sleeping at different – this is a lovely apple. This apple is so good. It's a Rainier Fuji. How are the airplane sounds? Because last video, someone said it sounded like I was living in like a, I don't even know what, but you're not supposed to because of this mic. It's not supposed to be that bad, but I haven't checked the mic sound lately. What you making today? Lauren Therese, I made a vegan, a salty vegan caramel. And so now I'm just going to make, um, I'm going to make myself an apple dessert with it. Um, oh, I do have something that would be fun to put over it. Oh my gosh. I wish I could take you guys with me, but I can't. So hold on one second. Uh, yeah, hold on. I can't take you to the laundry room. I can't where I have my baking bell and carry there. Hold on. Oh, there Okay, coming back, this is really exciting. This is like real time in my kitchen. Everything is just so real. I didn't feel like planning anything today. So I had to make, and I love to make nut milk, 
always have nut or nut oat milk in the house because I like to have my matchas or my chai or my coffee. And I love just making nut milk with spring water with my ingredients that I've soaked and it just feels so good to have in the house always like at night to have like a banana with a little sip of like semi sweetened, uh, um, you know, maple syrup, vanilla, almond milk. It's just such a treat. What happens is when you make almond nut or oat milks, you end up with the pulp and I hate wasting. So last night, even though I'm in the middle of recipe development and these are not going in, although they could actually, now that I'm gonna try them, these are raw ginger snap cookies. So I could take one of these, I could cut up the apple and have it raw and take a crumble, put it over and drizzle some caramel. So my dessert will be raw. If I wanted to not worry about that and just bake, bake this a little bit, cut them up in tiny pieces, bake them, then do the crumble over. Then we have a raw fusion. We have mostly raw. The apple's raw, the cookie's raw, the caramel's raw. Sorry, the apple's not raw, but the cookie's raw and the caramel is. So it's really your level of like, what do you want to do and who are you feeding? You know, if I'm making things for my daughter, I tend to, you know, want to do raw fusion for her. If it's for me, I'm fine with 100% raw. So let's try the cookie. Um, yeah. I'm going to give you the cookie recipe. Whatever it is. Mm. It's not too sweet. What are you, Ginger Snap? So, must be on my big pad. Do you guys want that? Miss Integrity Raw Rocks. <laughs> okay, so Cass, you can hear it, but it's not that bad. It shouldn't be that bad because this should be working, but I, I need to listen to the last video because maybe I didn't hook it up properly. So um, let's make this apple thing. And if you want, I saw a yes. So you guys want the... Um, the ginger snap, because here's the thing, let's say that you didn't have pulp. I don't know how many of you make nut milk, oat milk. Um, for 10 years, I used my Vitamix to blend and then strain um, with a nut milk bag, but now I use my almond cow. It's a little under 200 or about $200, and I hesitated getting it, and I'm like, this is like the most amazing, it makes everything quicker. Um, which makes you want to do it more, easier to clean, less hand squeezing and cleaning a nut milk bag, which I do need to share with you guys about the nut milk bag. I'm the latest exciting. I do have to share this. It's just very exciting. I know I'm walking away from the camera a lot, but it's really worth it. Because remember I told you about exfoliating, how important it is. Your skin needs to be able to breathe and you want to get the toxins out through all, through everything, especially the skin. I make, um, I do the coffee water rituals, AKA the coffee enema. And here's my ground coffee beans. So, or I drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so I save the grinds and this is espresso grind, but you can use coffee grinds and I put a little coconut oil with them. Then what happened was I did it. I love doing it. I do it at the sink for my hands, my arms. I'll even sit on the counter so I can scrub my feet and then rinse them at the sink because I was like, who wants coffee grinds? It can't be good for the plumbing to have coffee grinds under, you know, in the tub. And the one time that I did do it in the tub, I was so obsessed with how good and refreshed my skin feels and plump and clean and vibrant. It like, it does something to wake up the skin, it stimulates the skin, that I decided to do a whole body one. I was like, I don't care, I'm gonna do it in the tub. And I ended up with um, grinds at the bottom of the tub. They didn't go down the drain, they just sat there. So I let it dry and then I used a dust buster. And I was like, I don't know, this doesn't seem, there has to be a better way. So then I was like, wait a minute, what if I put the grinds in the nut milk bag, the grinds and the coconut oil, I close it up and then I scrub my skin with it. So you're getting the scrubby feature from the nut milk bag or a paint strainer, those are like a dollar. And then I rub my skin and it's okay if the coffee water, the, the water, you could even soak the grinds in the water 
to wake up your skin. And that way the grinds mostly stay in here and you get the sloughing. It's unbelievable. Yeah, use an old nut milk bag. I had a couple. So I use one that's kind of brown looking and I put it in the I clean it and then I put it in the dishwasher. That's what it looks like. And it's my coffee grinds one and that's okay. This will be my nut one. Um, so it's unbelievable. And you could do it on your face too, gently. Uh, there's just the coffee grinds and then you're not wasting the coffee grinds. You either use them for compost, they're really good. So they go in my compost for compostable LA. They pick up my compost every um, every week on on Thursday mornings. And then, um, and then I use them. So that's my latest with the coffee. I wanted to tell you because it's really, really exciting and it's obviously inexpensive. Organic coffee. So we're gonna have, what are we gonna do? Okay, we're gonna have a raw, this is gonna be raw, why not? Raw apple. I never peel my apples, but this feels very, so for holiday recipes, you just want to take them up a notch. Like everyday recipes, you want to eat raw, but for the holidays, if you want to bake the apple and have the smell of baked apple and cinnamon go going through your house, bake them, and that would be amazing. If I put this on the stovetop and I was steaming this with a teeny little bit of water, oh my gosh, the smell that goes through the home. So that's part of it too, you know, it's like that's why I like raw fusion so much. When I cook onions and garlic and mushrooms or onions and tofu, and I serve that over a big bed of lettuce and mostly raw food, I'm getting the vibrant, nutrient-rich, enzyme-rich food, but I'm also getting the smells. And I like the heat. I like, I like playing with fire. I like the stovetop. I do not like the oven. I very rarely bake. So it must be like the fire thing. I love the fire. I'm always at making a, a brew, a tonic, a soupy thing, a steamy thing, a saute thing. The suspense on what? Because I jumped to the, this is, remind me to do the ginger snap cookie recipe, but right now, in fact, I should probably do that right now before I forget. Or I can do it at the end to make sure you stay till the end. Cass and I are like looking at the analytics. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm like, my numbers should be up. Things should be up. I like numbers to go up. It's fun. So like the video, share the video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I never go into look at analytics, but Cass has gotten me interested. Cass is our friend in Russia who's helping me make things better. And I was like, wow. Tension pant spans are short and um, only like there was like 36% what wasn't subscribed, certain percent was. I love the age group. It's like 25, 24 to 35. Um, it's really fun. Hi, Valerie. Hello. All right, it's going in the compost. I'm glad I'm making this video. I was like, I got nothing. <laughs> and I'm like, then you gotta have faith that something will come. Like, you don't ever have nothing. You have it all in you. Sometimes you just don't have a plan and you have to show up anyway. And that's what this is today. I'm wearing like this utility vest because I went for a walk on the beach and I just wanted to put my phone in it and my mask. And then I um, decided that I would wear the utility vest because I could pop the little mic receiver in the pocket. It's a very utilitarian, creative day today. That's how I feel. Like I'm going to be making rumaki. So basically, I'm going to take a ginger snap. I hate to ruin them. They look so pretty. But we're going to crumble it on top. And then maybe a dollop of like almond yogurt. But this should actually, the, the apple should have cinnamon mixed in. Thank you. Stay happy. I really am so good at that. Um, but sometimes you can be so good at it during the day. And then all of a sudden at night, something hits you and you're like, whoa, I wasn't allowing myself to think about these things that are coming up for me. And that is when you, maybe a little squeeze of lemon. 
That is when it's a really good idea when you're shown things at night or in dreams or you have worries or things come up for you to really, yes, stay happy, but also give it its proper time to go, wow, that's that wants to come up and out. A little lemon, a little pinch of salt, as usual. Sometimes I think I would lose five pounds in water weight if I stopped with the salt. Well, that's such a cute wooden spoon. Yeah, I think that... You know, I'm really good at staying happy. You can put a little maple syrup in here. You could melt a little Miyoko's butter. Watch this, I have an idea. Are you ready for my idea? Yeah, I'm doing it. It's gonna be just so decadent and why not? Are you ready for this? A little titch of the vegan butter, okay? A little titch of the Miyoko's, M-I-Y-O-K-O-S. And if you don't have that, do the coconut oil. Um, and I'm gonna just teeny tiny, not all the way cook this, but just enough, I'm gonna melt that butter and then I'll put this in and toss it so that it will be coated with like, that's so like apple pie to have a little butter. So Grandma Sylvia is making her appearance because all throughout my life, my one of my favorite things to do is visit my grandparents, Grandma and Popsy. And she would always make apple pie for me and I would get to eat it for breakfast. It was like, oh my God, you go to Grandma's and I get to sleep over and have apple pie for breakfast. So when I grew up, one of the first things I learned how to make was Grandma Sylvia's apple pie. And so the other day when I was making this recipe book, I was like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Jada mentioned caramel apple, and I was like, we have to have some Sylvia representation. So we got, Grant, we got Beverly, my mom, Grandma Sylvia, her mom. Hey, Sutton Kelly, late. Is better than never. So what we're doing right now is taking the vegan caramel that I made, and yes, I gave the recipe. We're taking apples in some form, chopped raw, chopped steamed, chopped stewed, chopped. This is like a stewed apple a little bit, a little saute, so a little gentle toss on the stove with uh, vegan butter. And then we'll have my raw ginger snap, snap cookie crumbled on top. And this will be my breakfast. I did have a smoothie. This will be lunch. Okay. So let's get the ginger snack cookie. Are we ready? Ginger cookie. Okay. Two cups of pulp, almond or oat pulp. So that means if you make your own almond or oat milk or any kind of nut or seed milk, you're going to want two cups of the pulp. Now, when you make it uh, in the Vitamix with a, a nut milk bag, you're usually squeezing it pretty dry. When you make it in the almond cow machine, it ends up being very wet pulp. So this was very wet pulp that I used. So if you are using a drier pulp or you're using just oats, maybe you're going to grind your oats down, you might, um, an almond flour, you know, be creative. Like if you don't have almond pulp, you can figure it out and use almond flour and um, you'll want more water because mine had a lot of water to it. You want to add a little water, what, what I'm saying. Four tablespoons of maple syrup and then one half a cup of ground flax. So I take flax, you can grind it in a coffee grinder or in a Vitamix dry blade. And then uh, there's Three quarters of a teaspoon of ground ginger. I might as well just take that up to a teaspoon of ground ginger. So, uh, because I don't feel like they're super, I think a teaspoon is fine. Of ground ginger. Ground ginger. Uh, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of coconut sugar. And mine are not sweet. I'll tell you that. So you could add more coconut sugar um, or brown sugar. And then I put them in the dehydrator and they were in overnight. They were in for at least 10 hours. Um, 
but mine were very moist. So if you are using drier pulp, you won't have that issue. I did try to bake them and honestly, I baked two, the dehydrated ones are better. It's so, so good. So now we're gonna take the lightly steamed apples, apple, cinnamon, salt, and Miyoko's butter. And that's just one apple. Like how exciting is this? And then we're gonna crumble a cookie. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And I think that I would like to have like a pecan. Um, can you see? Yeah, you can. I think I would like to have like a, a toasted maple pecan um, oat blend on top. That's probably be my first choice, um, which could be in the recipe book. I think this might as well make it to the recipe book, right? What type of syrup do I use and how long to dehydrate them? I turned, so I went to bed and I turned the dehydrator on about 120 degrees and I set it for like 17 hours because I knew it was going to take a long time to dry. Um, I didn't want the dehydrator to shut off in case I forgot about it. And just at now it's, <laughs> they've been in there running. Um, it's three o'clock here and I put them in at like 12 o'clock last night. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. I just did the math. That was ridiculous what I was doing. Anyway, 12 o'clock at night till three o'clock the next day. That's how long they were in and nothing bad happened to them and they didn't get too dry. So dehydrating is really just a matter of like feeling it and seeing what texture you want, right? Um, okay, this looks lovely. And now we're gonna drizzle the caramel or clump it. It's not very liquidy. You could definitely make this a little more liquidy. Um, I don't know why vanilla didn't, I feel like I put a teaspoon of vanilla and if I didn't, I would definitely add vanilla next time, 100%. This deserves a photograph for sure. I'm gonna take a photograph and then we can use it as a thumbnail. It's off the hook, you guys. I don't even know what to say. That, um, it's the pine nuts. Hmm, <laughs> oh, messy. Well, I'll take a picture of me with it and that will be our thumbnail. Okay, I wish I could have a picture with you guys. Okay, so now this is the dessert. Um, you could do some kind of like a coconut cult. Bram makes a vegan coconut gelato, um, a vanilla ice cream on top. That would be really great, right? Did I answer all your questions and did I do everything I said I was gonna do? I think I did more than I said I was gonna do. Um, guess I'll try it. I think I did. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I was like, you're showing up because you said you'd show up. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did I used to do, too? Thumbs up. Like, seriously insane. Um, I feel like it wants... You know what it could just have... Yeah. So I don't, I don't eat ice cream a lot. Like I don't really care about ice cream. I forget about it if it's in my freezer, but I do use coconut yogurt um, in the morning with blueberries and banana on my smoothie. I really always like to have it in the house because to me it's like delicious tasting medicine because it has probiotics, which we need right now. So you have the same thinking. So I'm gonna use Coconut Colts uh, Vanilla Toffee. And you guys can get this shipped to you. I don't love all of the packaging that goes with it. Hopefully they'll be able to do better, but if you get at least four jars, perhaps it's worth it. If you can get it at your local store. Okay, now we're complete. Now I, now I feel really, <laughs> I feel really happy. I do love it. Like I love Coconut Colts ice cream because it, it's got probiotics and, okay. I can't, I don't know if this is a good photo, but. I'm trying to remember to make thumbnails. 
Anyway, I love you guys. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Was I clear? We got, you guys got the vegan caramel um, recipe, the salty caramel recipe, the ginger snap cookie recipe. You know what to do with the apples. And do you think I should put this in um, the uh, book? Aw, Missy Vine, you're going to get a phone case. Um, thank you, Valerie. We got some OGs in the house. It's very raw and very real. And that's basically what I said was going to happen today. Like we were going <laughs> to, I'm just showing up. I'm showing up because I said I would. And you got to be a woman of your word. And I love you guys. So you cheer me too. Like this is something that I love. So making beautiful food, making my home nice, connecting with you guys and drawing duties basically is what I do. And walking on the beach, getting out in nature, 100% seeing people is important. So I've been going to Creation Juice, Creation Juicery, and sitting there and drawing. Um, so just make a list of the things that, that you can do that are self-care, that can make you happy, and just pick a couple. Like If you're ever like in a funk, sit with the funk, surrender to it, say, wow, I didn't know that that's coming up for me. I didn't know um, that I was going to feel lonely. Like I didn't. I'm never lonely. I'm always busy. I'm always active. I'm always creating things. And I was like, whoa, it wasn't lonely as much as like the realization that I'm alone. And I was like, wow, that's so trippy. And I was like, it's like existential. I think, I think it's existentially things are coming up for every single person on this planet because whatever we were doing, we can't really do the same anymore. And no matter every time we leave the house, we're probably going to see something that causes discord within us. So Nah, I don't drink. I'm not, I don't smoke anything. I don't like remove myself from the feeling. I do what I can to make myself happy. And then when it hits hard, I'll just lie down and go, all right, wash over me. So Maritza and this and some pretty music and going down to the studio and painting and drawing and actually making my mom's rumaki vegan is next up on uh, in this situation. So I'm going to feel so good when the recipes are all tight and I've gone through each one. And then I'm going to go about um, illustrating. This is not going to be a photo book. This is going to have all my little illustrations in them. So it's really special to me and heart based. And that's what I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks is drawing. So big hugs, everybody. Get your greens on. Get your sexy on. Get your happy on. Definitely get your sadness on if it needs to. And music, 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 music. Yes. I was listening to Journey today. So, uh, phone case. So, I ordered, um, this is the, so we have a Society6, the Doobie Universe has a, please join me on Instagram, Dara Dubonet, and the Doobie Universe on Instagram, and um, DaraDuvenet.com lists all of the things that we have. If you click on the phone case, they will take you to the Society6 shop where you could order. Um, you could order one of three phone cases. There should be three options for you. There's Android and there's iPhone. And then um, we did a couple of masks. And then prints. And I ordered this little print. It's such a little cutie. It comes in a little frame. And it's going to sit on my little altar or by I have in my dressing room um, cute little things and bottles of perfume that I like. And so this will sit and just make me smile. Got to have the things in your vision that make you feel happy. Epsom salts, baths. I was thinking of making a Dara list because there's a long list of things that I can choose from. But there are some basics, right? Making a tonic. For those of you who don't have the Tonics ebook, I recommend it. Um, yeah, so just go look on my site. That'll cheer you alone. It's so cute, isn't it? I mean, it's just so cute. And so the phone case, I'm so excited. I ordered the wrong one, and this one's going to go um, to Miss Vine. And um, I think I need to make a list. Maybe Cass will remind me. Farmer's markets, yes. Play with the coffee grinds, exfoliate your skin, do a mask. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a new case. I'll show you guys when I get it. It will look like this, but bigger. And it's going to be so cute. 
So big hugs, everybody. I'll be, you know what I'll be doing. I'll be recipe developing and I will see you for sure on Wednesday. If not sooner, you can see me over on Instagram, Dara Dubonet and at the du Dubie Universe. And don't forget to thumbs up. I see you guys did. Um, tonic and bath. It's my pleasure, Amelia Love. Goodbye, Crystal and loveies. Thanks, Cass. Big hugs. Get your greens on.